What's up everybody? It's Tomasz here. Today I'm gonna tell you about GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions are triggered by events like push or pull request and performing actions like code checking, uh, coverage, test coverage checking and so on. I'm gonna show you how I integrated C code quality checking using Lint. And after that tutorial, you will not only know more about actions, but you will be able to write actions by your own. For this tutorial, I created an empty repository and we are going to start with creating some configuration files. So first we need to create the YAML file. This file, file will control our process. So what we have here is the definition of the trigger that will run this file. So we have it set for push. We can also have it, for example, for pull request and more. You can search in documentation. Also, uh, as we see in, it runs a Docker based on Ubuntu latest and uh, we have some steps defined here. So the first one, and this is the action provided by GitHub. It's cloning our repository to a Docker container. And the other one is referring to a folder that we'll create in a moment, which holds our configuration scripts. So we have it done. Now we got to create uh, our other scripts. So that will be the folder that was used in uh, our YAML file. The first is a Docker configuration file. What we see here, we are using some available Docker image and we are installing uh, CPP lint on it. And then we got to create an entry point script, which uh, we will create in a moment, modify access rights and define this entry point. Okay, so now let's create entry point script. The entry point script is a bash script. Uh, we are defining first folders that we are going to parse uh, searching for CPP files. Also, uh, then we are getting through those folders and processing in recursive way, which we defined here. And uh, in the end, we are running cpp lint command of course for each file we find uh, when we are processing a particular file that may be uh, an error in it so in that case lint is uh, throwing a message that the error was found so i grab the output from uh, lint and if there is an error word in it so i also display the message then that the, the error was discovered but also there's more because we are running in github so we got to pass the information to github that uh, the script failed so that's why if i find an error i exit with uh, value one which is error value it's uh, here yeah okay so we have uh, files created and uh, now it's time to clone the repository.
Of course, there's nothing more that we created so far. So we got to provide some C files that uh, Lint can check if they are correct. Uh, so uh, I will use a file browser and create those. So first we need some folder. Since we are parsing through source folder, I think that this is the best way. Also, I prepared already a file that I put into this folder. Okay, so we are ready. Of course, there is a new folder to be included. And we got to commit the, the change. And push. Okay, we are done, so let's check what's going on here. So there is a new commit and let's see how it runs. So we cloned the repository into a Docker container. Now we are installing the Docker container. And we see in a moment, we see the result. So there was some error, and uh, that's why uh, our commit failed, as we see here, it's failed. Yeah, so uh, of course, we see detailed information about errors found in our C file or files. Uh, if you don't want to break the commit, because that will happen with every commit, you can either modify to use the script during, pu during pull request, or you can disable uh, the failure of uh, the flow. So to do this, what we need is to modify the script. So simply we'll remove this line. Yeah. Now we got to update our repository because we modified on GitHub. And simply made some small change to the file. Anything will be okay. Okay, let's see on GitHub. So this is our latest commit. So as before, because we set it for every commit that we push on GitHub, we are running the check. So we are building Docker container and running lint. So this time, 
there is a message about the failure yes it's here as you see but commit was successful that's it for today I think that you will be able to make more actions for your github repositories and if you like this video please come back there will be more videos soon thank you very much